Gary's on the ballot in every state. His running mate is actually here. He's giving a speech about an hour at the other stage, and he's actually standing right over here. This is the vice president candidate Woo! on the Libertarian Party. Woo! Vote for this guy. Yeah! Now, I do want to mention the Green Party also. They've seen the light on legal legalization. And um, they have a candidate who's on the ballot in 30 different states. Either Gary, either Gary or Jill would release all the federal prisoners the day they get into office. I know that they say third parties can't win. Perhaps that's because too many people listen to what they say. But even without winning, there's one thing third parties do, and that's to get the other parties scrambling to change their platforms to reclaim lost votes. I guess I'm running a little short now, so I'll cut out a couple of things, but I just want to say about Mr. Obama, it's not a joke, Mr. President. Three million marijuana users have been arrested during your term. Hey, who's that girl? So what are you doing here, Frank? I came to register people to vote and tell people about End the Fed. Our Audit the Fed event that's going to be happening on September 22nd. Meet over here at the gazebo and then marching down to the Fed to let them know. What is this? Is this, is this, is this like a new thing at the Freedom Rally? What is this? Well, the green room with food, it's like a new thing at the Freedom Rally. We haven't had that before. Look at this, look at this. I mean, this doesn't happen anywhere else. Only in America. This is what freedom is all about. Awesome. What yep. about you? I'm in the same position. You know, we just have to make sure that we keep our freedom because a lot of people out there trying to, you know, circumnavigate those freedoms that we have. Don't take them for granted. Vote for the right people. You guys know what's going on around here these days, so... Let's keep freedom going. Well, you guys check out the Two Hot Hats show? Yes, sir. Tell me about that. Dude, you guys rock. The way you guys, like, just bring up topics and, you know, just discuss stuff over the radio, that's, you know, you're, you're, you're practicing your First Amendment right in, in, in the way it's supposed to be done. So, so, you guys rock. You guys are doing your thing. I appreciate it. Thank you, bro. No problem. Anytime. Absolutely. We, uh, we want you to keep on doing what you're doing. We appreciate it. What you bring to the table is an absolute necessary thing, so keep striving, man. We want that. Thank you. And we are uh, also waiting for uh, uh, Judge Jim Gray from the Gary Johnson campaign. He's going to be here this afternoon. Awesome, and that's right there. You've got to promote it 2 to 4.30. Meet Gary, uh, Judge Jim Gray. Absolutely. Come by. Talk to the judge, make a little campaign donation. You know, we're going to do great in this election. Ladies and gentlemen, gravity vortex. Pour the water back and forth like an hourglass. Water drains back into the top. You've got a portable gravity you can take anywhere. So with only a tiny, tiny little bit of smoke, you're able to expand it into this big cloud. Let me show you how that works. Kick off the gravity vortex. <laughs> Yep. Who supports weed legalization? Me. Right me. Here, grab it. Thank Mike you. can, YouTube. Oh, yeah. Support me on YouTube. Sub sign up for my YouTube. I'm the dude in Boston. Right there, grab one of them. Thanks. The other, you're right. What's your name? You're right. We're going to have a talk about two girls who saved the world by smoking weed.
disease. And um, basically, if you're having a heart attack, they'll save you, but they have to smoke weed first, or else they're useless to you. So, This is a uh, joint of some OG Kush Rick medical spouses going on. Going to uh, Jim Fowler here. Smoke some weed with us. It's fucking holiday. Don't work so hard today. Yeah, uh, I do like, is there anything you want to say on the video? Well, I want to tell these guys. You can film that. Uh, you know, I got a YouTube channel, Mike Can. Look it up. Subscribe. If you like the weed legalization, that's what I do. I go after the politicians. I do events. I work as a musician. I got a radio show I do every Saturday on regular radio. I call in. You know, be a part of our movie. Get involved. So we're going to legalize it. Yeah. Three hundred two thousand eight medical two thousand and twelve in the legal 2016. Get regular, we're registering people. We're doing campaign. This is like our activism. It's a little small. So. Independent now. I work with everybody. I want to say something on the video, Mike. Yeah. What other booth do you know that Mike can would invite you to come on a smoke session with? I'm sure there's a few. What's up, man? You guys seen the Digger One Hitter? Remember the old school dugout and one hitter? After 40 years, we repatented it and put a grinder top on the one hitter. So now it actually works and grinds your tobacco material. And then this is called the Smash Tray. It's an ashtray that you can't break glass pipes on, won't burn, holds your beer can. Then we have Dragon's Breath, which you blow your smoke through, and it smells like strawberry. For the college fruit. kids? Perfect for dorm rooms, the movie theater, wherever you gotta go. Yeah, awesome. So what do you guys think about the Freedom Rally? This is our, well, I'm from Cali, so this is my first trip up here, but it's uh, so far so good. The weather's beautiful. We're digging it. We just wait. Right on. www.thediggeronehitter.com Right there, bro. Perfect, man. I was looking for you guys. We're right here. Yeah, nice. Thank you. Excellent. Tell her to come over and see us, because I'm uh, man in this. But now, where, where are my Gary Johnson stuff? Where'd it go? Oh, yeah, there. Yeah. I know you already got one. Yeah. But let's talk about it. Do you support this guy? Do you support him? Yeah. <laughs> Gary Johnson. Absolutely. This is Jerry from uh, Peter McWilliams Auto OG. He supports Julia. Yeah. I mean, what do you say? It makes a lot of sense. Sure does. I'm not so sure about that. <laughs> a little pricey, but everything else. <laughs> we worked that out with them. Yeah! <laughs> Medical marijuana cookies just for you, Mike. Wow. White macadamia nuts.
about to support you guys. Medical marijuana in Rhode Island. Anything I can do to help? How is it going in Rhode Island? Rhode Island is not going much of anywhere. I think mass will be more progressive before Rhode Island even gets it up. What about the caregivers? Is that good? Is it working? The caregiver situation is awesome. If you find a good caregiver, you're all set. I mean, you know, my son's my caregiver, so. Set. I'm all set for life. <laughs> That's awesome. So medical marijuana helps you? Oh yeah, immensely. Right now is the first time in four years since I got Lyme disease and breast cancer that I am 100% drug free. Wow. Yeah, I don't even take my fibromyalgia medicine anymore. So you're feeling good? I feel pain, but I feel it. I'm not a zombie. And a lot of the other things have gone away, like a lot of the stomach issues are getting better because I'm off all the drugs. That's what got me in my stomach. What you I get to feel. the point where you're just numbing yourself, but you're not getting any better. And you look one day and you go, wow, I've been sick for four years. 